come to third part of Cyp 3D series. And uh, if you remember in part one and part two, so we created this model. And uh, in part two, actually, I also focused on the uh, generating or creating the model from Cyp 3D from scratch. And here, so if you remember, so uh, we applied, uh, or let's say we create the members. And from here, also, I applied the load using the load panels. So if you remember, so here I applied two uh, panel uh, panel loads, and then so I applied the uh, pressure, uh, or let's say wind pressure, to this uh, panel uh, surface. Uh, but from now on, so I want to uh, continue our uh, tutorial on the model that we imported from a Portal Frame Generator. And uh, from here, also, you can see this model is from, uh, you know, just a portal frame generator. And here we have the, uh, let's say, you know, the uh, support condition. But uh, for the model that I created from scratch in Swipe 3 d so here I have no support. So which means I need to uh, assign the support to this portal frame. So that's why uh, I just, uh, you know, uh, stopped the talking about, you know, this model, which means, you know, the model that we created from scratch in Swipe 3D. And I will continue on uh, the model that Im imported from uh, Portal Frame Generator. I will remove the support and I will show you how you can, uh, let's say, apply the uh, support to the structure. First of all, here also you have the, you know, the uh, view options. So you have different view options. Okay, and from here, you can go to uh, one of this view. For example, here, I can go to uh, this view. So once I'm in this view, so first of all, since I have the support, and I want to show you again how you can apply the, uh, or let's say assign the support. So I will go to the node. Okay, and then from here, so I will go to external fixity. Just assume that, for example, uh, somewhere you apply the uh, support, and uh, it's not actually, you know, the, the place or the node that you need to apply the support. So for uh, removing the support, so you need to come to the external fixity. So if I remove the uh, node, you see here, if I remove the node from here, okay, so all the, uh, let's say, columns uh, will be gone. Because in uh, finite element, we know that, for example, you know, each line element has two, uh, let's say, node. Okay, so the start node, so I can say that the start node, and also I have the uh, end node. So if I remove one of this node, so definitely, you know, the member or the line will be gone as well, because it is a must for a line to have two nodes. Okay, so the uh, start node and uh, let's say end node, or let's say uh, node uh, I and J. Okay, so it is very common uh, definition for each uh, uh, line element. Okay, so that's why here also, if I go to uh, node and if I delete the node, you see here, and then uh, click on this and then right click. You see all the columns gone. If I go back to 3D view, so here you see that, you know, all the elements already gone. So let me just undo. Okay, so here I have the, again, the columns. So I can go to this view. And then from here, instead of uh, deleting the node, uh, just, you know, uh, for purpose of uh, removing the support. So I will go to external fixity. So once I will go, uh, I, I uh, went to external fixity. So here I will select all the supports. So if I go back to again uh, to 3D view, you see that all the supports are selected. I will come back here, and then so you can right click, and here you have actually you know the option to uh, let's say 3D uh, support. Okay, so I will click on this and then accept. So right now, as you can see, so I remove the support. But if you want to uh, apply the support again, so I can go back to node, again, external fixity. I can come to one of this view, okay? Or I can go to this view, so up to you. So from here, I will select all the, let's say, uh, base nodes, and then right click. And this time, so again, uh, as we explained in part one, it depends on you as a designer. So you want to go for fixed support or pin support. So let me just uh, select the uh, fixed support. Okay, and then accept. So if I go back to 3D view, so here I have the uh, fixed support. So it is for, uh, let's say, uh, fixed support. Let's uh, go to uh, add the, uh, let's say, bars. Okay, so here I want to add the, let's say, uh, the tie beams. 
okay so one uh, the one thing that i can do so the uh, procedure it can be like this so from this node to this node sorry to this node okay and then so continuously you can go just like this okay so you continuously you can just go like this but uh, also i want to show you another way so you see here from this node instead of you know uh, go one by one so i can go straight away up to n node so which means here and then right click so right now i have actually you know the highlighted black color member and here i have the let's say you know uh, the member with uh, normal uh, visualization so here there is actually you know uh, a reason for this so for those member that you have actually you know the normal uh, let's say uh, uh, way to show so which means this member is the uh, analytical member which is you know the start node of this member is here and the another uh, let's say end node is here but for this beam okay for this highlighted beam so the start node will be considered here and the end node will be considered for this element as this node okay however you know between you have the nodes but uh, for design calculation this member will be calculated as one single member this highlighted black color member okay uh, but sometimes you want to, uh, for example, release this uh, uh, beams, okay? And here we have actually now uh, five meter. And here also you want to, for example, provide the shear connection between this tie beam and this column. So that's why here you need to release the, uh, let's say, this tie beam, okay? So that's why it's necessary to uh, go for uh, analytical member instead of uh, physical member, okay? So for uh, just creating the, uh, or let's say, converting the physical member to analytical member. So simply you can go to the bar and here you have the create elements. Okay, click on this create elements. And the only thing that you need to do here, just select two nodes of the physical member. So for example, here I can select this node or this node or this node and this node, or you can just come to here and select this node and this node. So it doesn't matter, just you need to select two nodes. Okay, so for, uh, sake of uh, uh, let's say a presentation I will select this node and also I will select this node okay and the software asks you do you wish to create the element yes so right now I have the uh, let's say uh, or I, I already converted the physical modeler to analytical uh, physical member to uh, analytical member so I have this and later if you want to let's say uh, copy it so simply you can again you know go to uh, one of this view for example this time i can go to uh, let's say uh, this uh, top view and from here i can select the member or for you know just easiness i can come to this view and from here i will go to tools copy element accept so from here just if i select this node which means you know the member is perpendicular to this uh, let's say plane and they are connected to this nodes. If I go back to here, you see all this member is uh, selected. Okay, so once I select this, so then what you need to do, just, you know, uh, do right click. And from here, so I can just simply take this member, you see here, so I'm taking the member and I can put it, for example, here. Okay, and also I can put it, for example, here. Okay, and then right click to come out from the command. So if I go back to uh, bar and then just to go to uh, describe, you see here, I just copy the member from here to here. Uh, so for uh, sometimes actually, you know, for faster modeling is better actually, you know, to go for a bar and then new and you can start right away from here. Okay, just to here. Okay, and it is another advantage of this, uh, let's say, uh, physical uh, modeler option that we have. Okay, and then right click. And then so you can convert the physical modeler, uh, or let's say physical uh, member to analytical member. Again, I can go to the bar, create element, and then select this node and this node, and then yes. Okay, so I have this. But here I want to keep this rafters as the physical members. So just I want to consider them as one single uh, member okay but for this one maybe i can make them uh, or let's say convert them from physical uh, member to analytical member okay so again so you can do it uh, 
put here. So uh, let me just, you know, to keep this one as also a physical member because I know that from here to here, I have nine meter and also I can uh, find or let's say uh, provide the nine meter uh, I-beam section or let's say, you know, whatever section I have here uh, and uh, I know actually it is available in the market. So usually, uh, you know, the uh, the lengths of the member that are available in the market so I can uh, find for 12 meters. So that's why you can, uh, let's say, consider this one as one single member. And uh, if you go to, let's say, you know, just uh, if you go to the bar and then go to describe. So here you can see that the length of this member also is 9.5. 124 meter so which means still you can keep this one as one single member okay but uh, if the uh, length of the member is more than 12 meters so you may need to divide the member to two members okay so because uh, you need also the, to think about the availability of the sections okay so uh, let's uh, continue on this and here also i need to uh, make a copy uh, of this members and to put it here so again i will go to this view and from here, once again, I will go to Tools, Copy Element, Accept. And from here, just I will select this, uh, let's say, Node, right click. So I will again select this one and I will put here. Okay, and then right click. So here you have it. Okay, if I go back to, let's say, Describe, here I have these members as well. So now, uh, what else we need to do? So we need to, as we said here, we need to uh, provide the uh, shear connection. So I need to create a pin, uh, you know, to this members. So I will go to bar and here I have the pin ends. Okay, and from here, if I click, you know, uh, just by uh, being close to this node and then click, so you will see, you know, this uh, small blue dot. Okay, and then this actually uh, represent the uh, pin or release okay again so you need to come to uh, let's say close to this node and then click here and you know the member will be released at this node and this node but sometimes you know for again uh, faster modeling or faster uh, procedure so instead of going you know to put the uh, uh, cursor here and add the pin here and again you know at the end node here so you can come to you know at the middle of the beam and simply you can click and at the same time you know this uh, release will be added to the start and end node of this member so that's why here i will continue just like this okay so here i will continue just like this okay and also here so now I released all this, uh, let's say, uh, members here. Uh, you see here, again, I need to do the same procedure. So that's why it's better to uh, assign the, for example, a specification to this member, and then so you can take a copy and then put it here. So just, you know, to avoid uh, repetition. So that's why maybe I can go back to this view. Okay, and from here, I know that, you know, I already released this member. So I want to remove the bars. So here I will go to delete the bars. So I want to delete this bars. Okay, so just I'm trying to remove this members. Okay, I can go back to 3D view to make sure that, you know, all the uh, desired members are selected and then, so right click. So I can remove them. So it is actually the way for removing the bar. Okay, and uh, after that, so simply I can again go to this view. Okay, and from here I will select this member. Okay, and simply go to tools, copy elements. Okay, so I don't want to copy the panels and uh, from here I will once again I will go to here sorry select the node and then right click so then select the reference point and then I will put it here put it here 
here and here okay and then right click so here I have all the members so if I go back again to describe just you know to see it in this way and then here I have you know all the members with release okay so just uh, we assume that here we have the shear connection so the next step uh, maybe here you want to uh, add the uh, Perlin location okay so for uh, adding the Perlin so maybe I can go for uh, divide this uh, member okay for for example uh, uh, as a nine uh, let's say division which means for example you know uh, almost uh, the, um, the space between Perlin's is about one meter okay so that's why here I can go to do uh, one thing for example here I can go to the node it is the one way okay and from here I will start from you know this again uh, this raptor and as far as I am closer to this node so the measuring or measurement uh, option is uh, based on this node okay if I click here and then here I can say that for example one meter okay so one node is added here so I can go ahead and this time this node is the reference node and then here you can say one meter okay so you can add another node here and definitely after adding each node so the corresponding reference line will be added to this node okay and then again from here one meter and so on and so forth so it is the one way that you can uh, let's say you know uh, create the node or location of the uh, perlins but let me go back to show you a better or uh, let's say you know an uh, easier way so what can I do so I can go to tools here I have the generation I have the nodes and bars okay go to nodes and bars and from here so I want to uh, let me also remove this node okay so let me also remove this nodes okay and now once again I will go to the tools generation nodes and bars so I will select this node okay so why I'm selecting this node because I want to specify this one as the uh, start node and I want to specify uh, this one maybe for uh, for the uh, first one I can go for this one and then here as the end node okay so here I will generate actually you know uh, let's say for the vision and here also I will generate for the vision okay so uh, instead of uh, let's say having uh, nine division so let's uh, uh, go for uh, for division for here and for division for here okay so let's do it so I will go to again uh, tools so here already I selected notes and bars so I will select this note okay and also this note okay so here you can see the direction of the copy so which means here you have the direction of the copy Okay, and then simply I can say that after doing this, so then you need to, uh, uh, let's say, right click. Okay, after doing right click, so here I will say that number of segment division. So here I can say that four. Okay, and then accept. You see here I have one, two, three, four division. And then I can repeat actually you know the same thing so I because here still actually the command is active okay so once you can see you know this uh, small uh, black arrow uh, next to each command so which means this command is still active so that's why I will select this node okay and another this node again after that just right click and here also I put I will put four and then here I have it one two three four five six seven eight so I have eight divisions so once you have this so you can make a copy you know to other uh, let's say uh, rafters but let me also to continue and create the nodes here as well okay so I will go to here and again right click or accept and also from here to here right click or accept okay so now I will go to the tools now I can go to the uh, let's say uh, gener uh, copy elements okay so here just I want to select the notes accept okay so now you have actually you know a messy reference line so once you want to hide this reference line so you can go to uh, planes and here you have the references 
okay click on references and from here just simply uncheck this reference lines okay and then accept so here I have this let me once again go to tools copy elements so here only I want to go to copy the notes accept so I will select this note and this notes this notes and also this notes okay so after selecting the notes again right click and from here this time I want to select this note as the reference note okay and then simply I can you see here you have the notes and then simply I can go ahead just like this okay so we put the notes here and right now so we have let's say you know all the notes which is again so we need to uh, consider them as the uh, parallel location so again here you can go to the bar already actually here I have the bar with release so I can use this element again okay so if I go to this view so again I can go to the tools copy elements already is act active so I will select let's say let's say right click okay and then select this members so which means here sorry I need to go back to here and also activate the bars as well okay and then accept so go back to YZ plane and from here I will select all these members if you see here okay and from here simply again right click select the reference point and then for it here in the right location okay and then here so you don't need to release them because already we actually you know we, are, we uh, got the specification uh, from this members and then we assign to here so right now we have let's say you know this uh, kind of member and uh, if you want to also uh, add the members you know at here at the bottom side of this uh, uh, trust so again so you can also again go to right click okay so I will go to here if uh, you miss the structure somewhere here so here you have the option to bring back the model okay to full window so here I will click on this and then once again I will select let's say this members again okay and then right click if I go back to here okay and once you do the uh, right click so select the reference point and I will put one member here and another member here here and that's it okay and then right click so now we completed you know the geometry of this uh, portal frame and if you go to uh, tools and then go to uh, let's say render view so still we haven't assigned any you know proper section just I want to show you actually you know what we created so far okay so here you have this kind of uh, structure okay and uh, in the next part so I will show you how you can assign the uh, sections okay guys so uh, thank you again for uh, being with us and please stay tuned with us and uh, we will come back to you on the uh, part 4 to assign the sections and also we will go ahead you know to uh, some uh, uh, further steps thank you so much and have a great day